Mike Zephyr here, and today I have a triple header for you guys. Um, one of which, both battles were from the same person, but this battle is the only real battle I have where the person did not run from it. So let's start this one. I'm gonna make this one a fast because it's not really all that important. But anyway, Magmortar Glaceon stare down ends up winning. I believe the speed side because I don't think Magmortar is scarf, but I'm scarf, so Sox can come in one hit KO. The uh, Mac Mortar does make up for it. So, Octillery comes in. I'm like, why would you bring in an Octillery? Because even if you do Water Spell, I'm Scarf, so I can take your health down. But it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get these battles fast as I can. So, Captain comes in, fearing the Sucker Punch, I switch out into a Layer Fine. And I'm gonna go for a Fake Out. And then, like I always love to do with this PU and U team, I try to on for him to so whatever moves he's gonna go for, but I'm faster, so I guess. Whatever. So he sets up a sub and starts sword dancing. And it's gonna extreme speed, get rid of the sub, and he sets up the second substitute. So I'm like, okay, E speed's gonna take you down to at least a little bit lower health, but he sucker punches, and I just found that hilarious because I did not know that if you extreme speed, you can basically beat a sucker punch. So in comes the, uh, the mirror wax, gonna take me out for earthquake because I thought speed bomb might be able to take it out better than um, extreme speed, but. Might have, might have not, I don't know. But, um, I fake out the Marowak, uh, and he sends him Fracture. I pretty much just throw a pair of hacks on this thing and he starts de dancing because now he's at minus one, I believe, even with, oh, maybe he's back at neutral, I'm not sure. But anyway, I send him Butterfree, I set up a sub, and he exits it, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set up another sub. So, um, he, so he starts sword dancing some more, so I guess he's at plus one now. And uh, I'm going to throw a bug buzz his way. And I see it goes like 53% and I'm faster. So I figured it would be a 2 hit KO. And it is. So that's, that's pretty awesome. So Cactus comes back in. Sucker punches me. I saw it coming. There's not really much I can do. I mean, I could have thrown like some kind of hazard this way. But I went to make the battle as quick as I can. So check out. Kill the Cactus. Take some life for a brief coil. In comes the Glaceon. I did not think I would outspeed it. And I end up... Just throwing the thunder wave on it as he ice beams me and overheat is gonna win me the battle. So this is part one of three. You'll be seeing the second battle in like a second, so just hold on for like a second. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the second battle of my triple header. This is against the same person, please let me in. And same as here in you, but this time things go a little bit differently. So I'm gonna start from my Glaceon, he's gonna start for Cacturn. I'm fearing the Sucker Punch, but I really didn't care. But he actually goes for the Seed Bomb here, which is like, okay, well, he might have been able to take me out with Sucker Punch, but I'm not gonna fall to it because I'm trying to win this. So, sends in his Fracture to bait me into going for the, um, the Ice Beam. Obviously, he double switches out into Glaceon, so I'm like, okay, okay, I'll just keep going for it because I'm choice spec. I'm locked into Ice Beam already, so there's not really much else I can do. But, um,. His Glaceon Ice Beam, I guess, he might be choice spec as well, because I don't see Life Orb or Lefty, and I doubt he's Scarf, but I make a really stupid play by Death firing out my Leopard just because I think I can fake out, but obviously I can't fake out as he's faster. But um, a Revenge Kill with uh, Linoon, and here comes the Marowak, who I knew was going to go for the Earthquake because that's what he did last time. So I switch him to my Butterfree, and I throw Sleep Powder his way, but I end up missing, so... Stone Edge is gonna take me out, which kind of sucks. So now I send out Glaceon again, who is going to revenge kill with Ice Beam after he misses the Stone Edge. So might he have made, hit the Stone Edge? He might have won the battle because there's not really much I could have done else with this Glaceon. But um, I send his Zep Striker here, and I'm gonna Thunderbolt his Artillery, and this is where he's going to run. Exactly, like. You still have two pokes left right here. One, two. And I believe if I go back up to Thingy, he still had a Pinzer. And uh, what else did he have? I believe he still had his. Wait, no. I killed the Cac. Let's see. Cacturn, Glaceon. Wait, no. He still has a Glaceon, too. So, really, if he had the right moves on his Pinzer, he could have taken me out. But anyway, that's not going to be too bad. This is part two. Part 3 should be coming up in like a second. And part 3 indeed. So part 3 is my triple header. And this one is actually against a different person. Um, 
I really don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like I A H I A double H G double T L R. I guess I get her. I don't know. But um, this battle's about MD, same tier, same whatever. And I'm gonna start off with my sock this time, cause I figured, okay, I'm gonna start with sock, and I get a useless crit on a dumb move that. Really, I could have gone for close combat and it would have done a lot more before he set up the screen. So, he has dual screens on me, and um, I wish I had a brick breaker right about now. But, I go for stun spore, it misses, go for sleep powder, it hits. So, on that turn, he's asleep, because I figure he's going to wake up next turn anyway. I'm going to set up a safe sub, and he's still asleep, so I'm like, okay, that's good. So, you wake up, I'm going to throw a bug buzz your way, and bug buzz doesn't do jack squat. And he actually does wake up on this turn. He misses the rock slide, but that gives me the perfect opportunity to throw stunts for his way. So now he's minus, well, at a third of his speed, and he gets a critical hit on the rock slide. So I'm like, okay, maybe his critical hit's out the way, and the crit fairy won't kill me anymore. So I send in Sock here because I believe the reflex is about to die down either this or next turn. So I'm going to go for a close combat. It's going to do 62%. And I believe he gets Parahax this turn, or he knocks off, yeah, he does go for the knockoff. He knocks off my Choice Scarf, and that's really going to come into play later on. But, um, the Reflect and Light Screen's off, so he's pretty much screwed. And now I'm at minus two defense, special defense, so Jinx is easily going to come in and kill me off with the Ice Beam. So, had I still had my Scarf, I could have taken out the Jinx, but he goes into his, uh, Meganium to sponge the extreme speed because Jinx is not all that specially defensive because I believe If I'm not mistaken extreme speed is a specially defensive move. So here comes Meganium coming back in trying to set up more uh, Screens on me, but he misses his leaf storm and I already got my belly drum off so Extreme speed are gonna go around everywhere. So extreme speed licky licky It's gonna be a two-hit kill as he goes for a seismic toss, really can't do much to me because Lydoon is a boss. That's why I have Lydoon on my team. Because he has that extreme speed. So here comes the Monferno. Easily going to be taken out with extreme speed. He might have brought that in to see if he can mock punch me, but really extreme speed is faster than mock punch. And I'm got it stabbed and everything. So Cacturn's dead, pretty much everything else but his um Everything else but his Jinx is dead, so he's going to decide to run here, and that's the triple header. So, you win three battles, and you are still like at a thousand on the ladder, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep climbing the NU ladder, and if you want to battle me, you can always hit me up on Skype. And if you would like these battles, you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time when I record. Bye.